If you're planning on buying any cards from TCG Player, make sure you use our affiliate link right here in the description of our video to help support the channel. It's the best way to do it and it's free. And if you need any code cards, make sure you check out Potown Store for automatic email delivery and use code TABLEMONTH for 5% off all your purchases. If you're from Europe, MealyBotsGaming.com is a great option to get your cards from. They have all sorts of sealed products, merchandise, and all the sets available from Pokemon Sun and Moon upwards, including the latest Hidden Fate set. Don't forget to use Tailmon code when checking out to get a further 5% off from your final purchase. Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new day of Road to Teacher Worlds 2020. Thank you so much for joining me. We are going to be taking a look at our next deck from this weekend's regionals, which is Pedro Torres's Pikram deck, which featured um, a few interesting cards, that's for sure, but especially a builds analysis based, uh, I guess builds analysis and Volkner based engine. There's no shuffle draw in uh, Cynthia or Judge as we've seen before. There is no um, straight draw with like Lily or even Coach Trainer or Erika's or anything like that. It's just pure search plus draw with Tetene, right? So Tetene is the main way. We are going to draw cards thanks to Tele Change. Pigram is going to be how we power up things thanks to Full Blitz dealing 150 and attaching three energy to our board. Tack Bolt is a very threatening attack dealing 200 damage for the same three energy and also sniping the bench if you have the correct number of energies. We also have the Raichu and Alolan Raichu GX paralyzing with Tandem Shock and using Lightning Ride to deal a bunch of extra damage and going back to the bench safely. We have the Zapdos for extra damage as well. Thunderous Assault deals bonus damage if Zapdos was on the bench, 70 to be exact. And then of course, all these damage modify, all this damage can be modified thanks to Electro Power to deal even more damage. There are our will sometimes attack as well. However, Plasma Fists, um, even though it deals a little bit more damage than Pikram, instead of having a positive in attaching energies, it has a drawback towards our I cannot attack next turn, but the free retreat is always nice. Um, definitely nice to have access to that attack. We also have Hoopa with Evil Admonition as an anti malware measure and overall very good non-GX attacker. And finally we have the Electros with 150 HP. There's no um, Tynamo or Electric of course because the ability Electric Swamp. Um, if this Pokemon is in your hand and you have at least four Lightning Energy cards in play, you may play this Pokemon onto your bench. And then if you do, you may move any number of Lightning Energy from your other Pokemon to this Pokemon. Obviously, you'll want to move four so that you can hover over, deal 130 damage, and the defending Pokemon cannot retreat during your opponent's next turn. The most important thing is that this is a very um, heavy, I guess, non-GX attacker that can bypass things like the Fairy Charm Lightning cards from... Um, from Guardian, it can bypass Keldeo GX's attack, right? So there's a lot of uses for these Electros. And then we have Jirachi combined with, I mean, combined with Tetene in order to help us find the cards that we need. Maximum consistency with the four Radar, four E-Power, and four Custom Catcher, the key cards of the deck. As I mentioned, we have Volkner and Bills to help us find all of these really good item cards. Um, the Energy Switches, the Pokecoms, the Reset Stamps, uh, even the... Stadium now so that we can search for the Thunder Mountain at the right time. Four switches, make sure that Jirachi is never stuck in the active. Despite playing the um, escape board, it will be turned off by life on your lap, so the four switches are pretty crucial. And we have a very healthy 11 Lightning Energy along with attack switch to move them around and perhaps get a surprise attack bolt or Lightning Ride GX at some point. So then let's jump into a ladder and give the deck a try. Don't have too much time to record videos these few days, so it'll probably be one, maybe two games at max in the video, but I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay and appreciate the description of um, the description of the <laughs> if my girlfriend is laughing at me. Uh, the description of the deck list and the overall strategy of the deck. Of course, Pikram has been around for a while, but it's never it never hurts to go over it again, especially if there are newer players who may be watching. So hopefully we'll find an opponent 
sometime soon and we will get the ball rolling hmm I can't believe not a lot of people are playing PTGO right now this tends to happen I, I'm sure you guys have noticed it while streaming people have noticed it while streaming that this can happen sometimes where it just takes so so long Hmm. Yep. Oh, oh, there we go. There we go. All right. So definitely want to go first. That's really nice. And we'll have to see how well this builds plus Volkner engine ends up working out. So not a bad hand if coco prism star is not priced and this is a pretty solid hand i'd say if it is priced then we are going to have a little bit of an issue but we're trusting that it won't be priced it's only priced 10 percent of the time so on average even if it is priced the right way is to play as if it isn't priced so we'll go ahead and radar wait the two lightning for Pigram and the Dene, it is in fact not priced. I did, however, price the Electros and the Zapdos here, so that's good to know. So now, if I play Bills, what cards am I actually hoping to find? Right, that's another really good question. Ah, uh, you almost messed up. I already have a Dene. There's no reason to find the Dene here. What are you doing, Pablo? So let's grab this Auram. And then, I mean, the real, the, the best card I could possibly find here of builds would be Pokemon Communication. That would be the one I'd be looking for. But then, what if I just did a change here without playing a supporter? What if I went ahead and did that? And therefore, I was able to see what I'm missing from my hand. And if I get a Volkner, then I can specifically find it. Because if I build into like custom catchers or electro powers, I'm just gonna choose not to grab them, right? And then see, that's exactly what happens, right? Now, um, I do have two energies in hand, which I will probably be discarding, so I don't really want to be grabbing another energy here, because that'll end up being very costly. I do have four switches though, so I don't mind benching the Jirachi. I don't mind retreating into it, and now, I mean, I'm re I'm grabbing Jirachi to probably just like retreat into Jirachi, but it's fine. Thinning the radar also seems like a good call, or actually having the radar is pretty good because then I have access to the Dene next turn, which is what I'm looking for, right? Definitely what I'm looking for. So we don't know, we see a Volk, this probably means Green's Reshi um, or Ability Reshi. I don't want to risk a, I really don't want to risk a Wolf at ruining my day. So I'm just going to go ahead and use Coco right now and then we shall pass. A power plant would be pretty problematic at this stage, but there's nothing I could have done about that. Um, having Jirachi is definitely good defense against that for sure. All right. All right. So there's the welder. It is indeed, or it's looking like green Sreshi at least. Technically, we still don't know. Welder one onto the active. That is pretty depressing for my opponent. Not going to lie. That is pretty, pretty depressing right here. All right. Uh, so this custom catcher kind of makes me want to stall wish first. I'm not super afraid of the Reshi at this point. I don't think Stellar Wishing first is correct though. So definitely losing the energy. Don't need the Electro Power. 
All right, so I'm gonna grab these two to thin. I do have three switches and no escape board. Ooh, but I do have Volkners and Bills. I only have two custom catchers as well. I mean, hitting into the Reshi, it's not that impactful. I'm just gonna go ahead and do the change. I don't play the custom catcher because there's not a lot of things I want to draw. And I do find a switch that's pretty good. I will go ahead and grab the Bills. Nah. The Volkner seems good. The Volkner guarantees energy plus energy switch. Um, don't need super need the energy, but I think it's okay to have that now. And then we'll go switch. And then we shall go energy switch. And then we shall go. I mean, is there a merit to playing a reset stamp? I guess. Well, we know my opponent's hand is was kind of weak before the welder, so there's no rush. And then we we don't have game actually. We don't have game. We are short on the damage from game right here. We see an Acrobike, we see a Pokegear. I actually would love it if my opponent knocks out my Pico on Cure. Excuse me, you guys didn't hear my sneeze, but still, it's good manners. <laughs> uh, Gustum Catcher and Shrine. So the Gustum Catcher. Not sure why that is, but the shrine will allow my opponent to knock me out. I generally do not mind that at all. Because now, by knocking me out, I have access to Tatene, all I need is an Electro Power, and I win the game. So, oh no, I don't even need the Electro Power actually, thanks to the shrine. So now I just win with the attachment. Yeah, and now I just win. So. We ended up winning by playing two Volkners. We didn't even need the Bills at all. We did not even need the Bills at all. I don't know if my opponent realized this. Um, I guess you could argue that this is why the... Maybe I'm missing something, but I'm pretty sure I'm not. I'm just gonna reset stamp just in case. I'm pretty sure I'm doing the right, the mass right. Um, yeah, 250, 270, yeah. Um, there's, there might be genuine merit, because imagine if my opponent had went, had gone for greens for fighting dojo plus fighting plus um, energy spinner and found the fighting energy and attached that for turn and played the fighting dojo, he would have knocked me out and he still would have forced me to find the Volkner. It was very likely that I was going to find the Volkner, but still. Alright, that was a fairly quick match. Um, we're gonna get the whole celebration because we're <laughs> we got our versus rewards yay and then we shall move for still have time so we sh we will play another match here we will play another match Okay, let's see. Yeah, so, I mean, the Volkner facilitated the cards we needed, right? So there's the argument that you play Bills, because at some point, you do, like, it does come to a point where you full blitz it you full blitzed once or twice plus the energy you lose along the way and um there's just no more reason to um 
to keep Volknering for, or like you're looking for a combination of cards, right? You're looking for double Electro Power, double Custom Catcher, and Volkner finds you one. However, Bills Analysis can potentially find you two, and then combine that with Jirachi, you're potentially finding three item cards that you need at any given point. So I do like the idea behind the Bills. Uh, why are we not finding people? Someone battle me, please. Someone battle me, please. Boom, boom, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da boom, boom. There we go. There we go. We're up against Malamar. Obviously a tough-ish matchup. I guess the Electros has merit in that it survives a Giratina hit to an extent. We get to go first once again, which is amazing. This hand, eh. Looking a bit dicey, especially because of the Stadium Nav. I'm not a big fan of having the Stadium Nav right here. We'll see, we'll see. We shall see. No milligans from either player. And custom catcher piece. All right, so clearly Tapu Gogo Prism Star is not priced. Right, very, very clearly that is not the case. Mm. I feel like this hand. Hmm. I mean, the electro losing the electro power is not a big deal. Losing the custom catcher is what I'm not super happy about, and the stadium nav as well, and the stadium nav. All right, so definitely grabbing these two. Saptos is in there, Hoopa is in there, that's good. Um, Lights and Labs, one is prized, Thunder Mountain isn't, one energy is prized, so not the biggest of deals. Energy switches and tax which are there, so yeah, I think it's just that I change here. And once again, there's no point in playing the builds, because what could builds find me that I missing that I wouldn't want to discard at this point. I think it's much better if I just find bills afterwards. Uh, now I really want Volkner though. In order to not whiff an attachment for a turn, I will end up whiffing the attachment. Yikes. So that makes our turn to attack that much dicier. Jeez, what the heck. I mean, I don't mind the Pokecom, that's for sure. Ugh, this is not great though. That was a very sad Bills into a very sad... That was a very sad Stellarwish into a very sad Bills from a very sad data change. <laughs> so a lot of sadness going around today. Very underwhelming Bills. But I mean, we're already at max Volkner, so it's not like we had the choice whether to Volkner or Bills. But that's where the argument of, well, perhaps Cynthia and the reshuffle might have been stronger. Ooh, so this is Malamar with Mew Mew. We get energy, which is very nice. We get access to energy. <laughs> what? You, I guess I didn't see metal from my opponent's previous screen, so my opponent is not, in fact, running Jirachi. I mean, this just makes the matchup that much easier, though. That much easier. No GX that my opponent can copy at this point in time. The GX attack is something that we have to be aware of, but we can always get just return KO with Choo Choo, so it's fine. The Viridian Forest is definitely very welcome right here. Very, very welcome. Getting the attack off is not gonna be easy though. And we see a Chansey, okay, so not a very serious deck. <laughs> um, that's a really nice top deck to get. The Choo Choo is available. I think I just go in with the big guys here. I definitely think I just, I simply go in with the big guys. So we're gonna lose all our custom catchers. Um, I mean, there's merit to going after the NK, correct? There's definitely merit to going after the NK because it's the old NK in play. 
And I also wouldn't mind just getting three prizes right off the bat. Like, I'm not scared of the Malamars if I can trade three for three. I'm scared of the Malamars if they continually power up the dudes. Yep, yeah, it's just gonna be a tether change here. I need energy switch though, so I need Volkner 100%. This is not Volkner though. Well, there's the energy switch. So now I need a switching card off of this Bills analysis. Otherwise, we are not attacking this turn. Okay, that works, right? That definitely works. So we are set for next turn with the Volkner. That's very nice. And we get this attack off, which is awesome. Definitely gonna power up the Choo Choo. And yeah, not we're not up against a very aggressive or a very serious deck, but the important thing is um, being able to being able to um, to work this properly, like to to apply the pressure to get the turn to full blitz. Right, that's always a goal. That is always always a goal. So there's the Malamar, there's another Mew Mew, so the game just got even easier. Honestly, the game just got even easier. There's nothing my opponent can copy, my boat's also not drawing very well. But yeah, this seems very done and chancy. Blissey and Mew Mews and Giratina. She's trying to fit in everything into one deck and that's just not very good. So hopefully we'll be able to finish off this game. But like I said, the important thing is watching the deck work, right? That's the focus, watching the deck work, making sure it functions properly and it seems like it is. It seems like it is. Seems like it's working, okay. There's a second attachment, that's fine. This Chooch will make short work of the Mew Mew. Well, now that we are out of custom catchers, my opponent will force me to go through, <laughs> will force me to go through any Pokemon he wants, basically. Which is fine, it's not the end of the world. The GX is super annoying, so that might, generally might prompt me to go Volkner for, to go Volkner for the um, Tag Bolt play here. So I don't see my opponent knocking me out afterwards. I think that's what I'm gonna do, honestly. Let's go ahead and reinforce the way Jirachi. Very lightning, the tax which was in there, I checked for that earlier. So let's go tax switch and let's grab the escape. Oh no, we can't. What am I saying? Uh, let's keep the energy in the deck. Yeah, I can always search for it here. I might want to dirty change next turn. All right, there's no Mew in my opponents. Nope, no Mew in sight. I'll go ahead and attach, and then let's go boom, tag bolt, KO the other Mewtwo. So now we can't one hit KO this person, but that's okay. I just, I didn't want him to end up healing that Mew Mew, basically rendering my efforts useless. There's a the last custom catcher, pretty useless overall. Drawing the custom catcher so early definitely made things awkward for us. I 
You get stamped, that's fine. <laughs> Still no attacks from my opponent to copy. Other than Miraculous Duo. If we get hit for 200, it's no big deal. It's generally no big deal. What Psychic Pokemon could my opponent copy that threatens me right now? I don't think there is one. I do not think there is a Psychic Pokemon that threatens me right here. Laser is after we attack into this Mew Mew. We don't really have much else to go off of. And if I bench the Dene, I don't have space for Electros, which is what I was hoping for to like disseminate out a little bit of the energies. Because yeah, he does 200, then we attack him. Uh, so maybe, maybe. There's one switch in the discard pile. Maybe my option is just to paralyze him. Maybe the play is simply to paralyze him. I do need to find my last energy switch, aka my last Volkner, in order to be able to do that. Not a switching card, but... No, and a switching card. Well, not a switching card because I can just retreat, but... Okay. So I find both, that's great. That is fantastic. And then I won't switch into the Jirachi, that would be bad. Right, that would in fact be bad. So hopefully the paralysis gets him here. Hopefully the paralysis gets him stuck in the active and that will be the game. I mean, we don't know what my opponent is playing. One Lily, one Switch so far, along with Acros, a Blissey, a Stamp, a Cynthia, a few energies, energy over there. I also have the Psychic Recharge, so likely that my opponent will be able to attack into the Choo Choo. But then what's next, you know? I retreat, I Volkner it for another Switch, so not having Zero Aura is an issue. There's a Cynthia, so... I'm probably playing at least one more switch. A skateboard is not good enough. He's not playing Jirachi, so probably no skateboard available. Um, U-turn board doesn't allow him, and there we go. There is the victory. So the paralysis trap ends up working out. Bales, but it wasn't really. I mean, it seems like the deck can just run on four Volker and be fine. Um, probably not the best idea, but um, I can see the benefits in theory, uh, especially light game, to just try and get those custom catcher pieces um, a lot more straightforwardly than with Cynthia having the random draw, especially with Cynthia, if you put cards back, then that reduces the odds, whereas if you have four cards and then you play the builds, you're looking at seven different ones and you're not looking at the same ones you already had. So there's a lot of merit to the builds and it clearly worked as Pedro got top four at the regional. But anyways, that will be all for today. Thanks so much for watching guys. Don't forget to leave a like. It really, really helps out the channel. And I will catch you guys tomorrow for a brand new video. Thank you and bye-bye.